What I have here is a ignition lock used on a uh, 1958 Harley Davidson Model 165 motorcycle. Um, I, that's what I was told. I don't know if it's uh, an ignition lock used on another year uh, and then just used on this one because they're so hard to find. Um, the Model 165 was manufactured from 1953 to 1959 and um, this is a tank mounted ignition lock so um, I'm not even sure what position it would be in on the tank, but if you were sitting on the bike looking down at the tank, I think this is on the left hand side of the tank and then on the right hand side you would have a, a, a gas cap for the, for the gas tank. The electrical switch is a uh, four position switch. Uh, it's in the first position right now and that's second, third, and fourth and then you can go back again. Um, the uh, switch lock assembly has this cap here which covers up the mechanical lock. If you lift that up you see the uh, keyway for the lock. Uh, it uses five wafers. Uh, the wafers are only on one side of the lock and you can see the first wafer right there. It's kind of a brownish color. Um, and the lock is not key retaining. Um, you can lock and unlock the lock in the first two positions. So it's in the unlock position now and then that's the lock position and you cannot turn the lock. And you can only do that in the uh, first two positions. This is second. If you go to the third position you cannot lock the lock. So um, you can only lock the lock in the first two positions. Like I said I don't know what the logic is uh, for the uh, electrical switch. The uh, key blank used for this lock is a, a B2 key and that is a Briggs & Stratton um, uh, part number. Uh, this is the uh, uh, key blank. Um, it's kind of hard to find. It's even harder to find with this uh, shaped key bow or head. It's a single sided key so you would have cuts only on one side of the key and since that lock has five wafers you would have five, five cuts in this key. Also uh, you can only insert this key one way and you don't have the uh, convenience of inserting it uh, both ways. Before I uh, end this video, I'm um, trying to give you a, a better view of this lock. Let's make sure I get the tire lock on the um, in the video. I think this vintage stuff is really neat. And uh, I'm going to take some steel photos and um, post them on my forum. And I'm also going to post the uh, spacing and depth information um, for the mechanical lock if you're interested. And I'll put a link uh, to that um, below this video. So uh, thanks for watching.